Anyway, let's get into this nigga Alec Baldwin, man. Man, that's that's where you want to start. Where do I want to start? <laughs> I want to start with this. I pull up, roll the window down it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I pull up, roll the window down it. Yeah. Yeah. I just bought a pistol, it got 30 rounds in it. Uh, Pull up at your mama house and put some rounds in it. Say what? Where the nigga block and watch them niggas drown in it. Honey round drunk, got a nigga down with Talk to him. Slaughter gang shit, murder gang shit. Let's go. Slaughter gang shit, Alley ball with shit. Sue the nigga bitch. Take a nigga bitch. Alley ball with shit. Wipe a nigga nose. Put him in the ground. Fuck a nigga. Nigga down. Oh, shit, a nigga in the face. Huh? <laughs> I'm a real right blood, and these nigga You don't put yeah, up on you gonna freeze out. I'm on that alley shit. I'm on shit. I'm on that alley ball with shit. Murder game shit. Bitch, keep your legs. Why the nigga know who's on set, bro? Fuck that shit, bro. They trying to get what I got 30 rounds in. They try, they try my dog. They, I don't know what they did on set. They tried my dog Christian Bell one time. You ever heard that video where Christian Bell went off on the people? Nah. Dog, he went insane. They was filming like Terminator or some shit. It was like Terminator Salvation. It was like an epic ass uh, rant. He just went on, cause they were just trying that nigga. <laughs> and he just like went off on them for like 30 minutes. For real? Yeah, but Alec Baldwin, man, they were trying, bro. He was like, bro, I'm, about to run, I'm bringing a real fire to work. Yeah, dog. I don't know how that happened, what had happened, but Alec Baldwin definitely had that stick on him. <laughs> so uh, I didn't even know they were filming this. R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. Whoever that was. Bro. So Alec Baldwin, apparently he was supposed to fire off a prop gun, and apparently the prop gun had like real bullets in it. But I think they were trying my nigga. He said, I'm about to bring that real fire to work. <laughs> That's crazy as hell to think. That nigga out of the ball, he wiped that nose. He was like, "Hey, look, that's another one bites the dust." Hey, man. Or the bullet. So let's let's read let's read this article. It said Alec Ball was fired off a prop gun while filming a scene in New in New Mexico on Thursday, causing the death of cinematographer Helena. He's gonna call her Mrs. Hutchins. And wounding director, he shot the, he shot the director too. How Damn. was he firing off this gun? That's crazy. Well, you gotta imagine how it might have been shot. You know what I'm saying? It could have been like over the angle, um, over the shoulder rather, over the shoulder angle. And <coughs> um, when he shot, it hit the director as well. All right. He said the incident occurred on the set of Rust, which is a country western movie. An independent feature that was filming on, at the Bonanza Creek Ranch, a popular production located south of Santa Fe. Shout out to Bonanza, bro. Shout out to all the whole Cartwright family. You used to watch ben Bonanza back in the day? Nah. Damn. Only reason I used to watch my posh used to watch this shit. Hey, yeah, tell us anything. <laughs> <laughs> my posh used to watch Bonanza, bro. Okay. I remember Bonanza had some hoes on the planet. <laughs> that shit literally had no women on it. <laughs> This is crackers and horses, and that was your show. And it was killing Indians. Sorry, I mean um, indigenous people. Sorry, and that, that and that and that and you was wrong anyway. It should have been Native Americans, oh. and then it would have been uh, my bad. Indigenous people. I know on Bonanza they was on some slaughter gang shit. Anyway, we about to get canceled. Um, yeah, for real. How am I correct? Hutchkin forty two was trans. <laughs> this whole segment problematic, so we just might as well just go all in. I just played twenty one okay. seven. Somebody died, man. right, bro? Right. So Hutchkin forty two was transported by helicopter to the University of New New Mexico Hospital in Albuquerque, where she died. Sousa forty eight was taken to the am by the ambulance, the uh, Christus Saint uh, Vincent Regional Medical Center in Santa Fe. God damn, that's all. Old. A long ass name for a hospital. That damn word is probably falling out of the goddamn <laughs> building. Goddamn. <laughs> Where he received emergency treatment for his injuries. So um, right now the movie is man. They they canceled the movie. They yeah, like, I was gonna say they, they should, bro. Like yo, we got bad luck. Like let's hang this one up. 
Like people, uh, Chris was hitting me up. He said the film, the film committee, community, they kind of taking this shit a little serious. They want uh, Alec Baldwin out of here. They want Alec Baldwin to never do a movie again. How do you feel about this? If it was in fact a mistake. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, if it was a mistake, I think that um, I think that it's something that I don't know, man. It's tough because at the end of the day, someone died for sure. Someone died, so something has to happen. Um, I could see people feeling a way about working with him, but at the same time, you never have to work with him to where you know it's around any kind of a weapon in that in that in that regard you know what i mean um and i'm talking like 30 rock type shit you know but um you had a fire on 30 rock <coughs> i don't know man but yeah they just uh they said when he when he uh when they talked to him he said he was crying so he's obviously shocked about this this is just a this is a serious situation though we came in joking that's just what I do, man. I'm sorry, bro. I don't <laughs> yeah. take nothing serious. But uh, if this did happen and it's a obvious mistake, let the man continue on. Alec Baldwin is 68, so if he was to get blackballed from the Hollywood industry, he, he made so much money where yeah, it don't he done fucking his, matter. No. He, done ran, his he time. ran a checkup, man. So Alec Baldwin, just leave. I don't know, man. Just, just keep it moving. But like I said, what if? What if somebody tried him and he brought the real fire to work? And he was like, I'm gonna get away with this shit. How does that shit even happen? A prop gun go off? Cause you know that shit happened to Bruce Lee's son. Yeah, I heard. And um He was filming he was filming a crow and they just had like a, a it was supposed to be a prop gun, but it was like asking a real gun, somebody made a mistake. The director was turning out and just shot that motherfucker in the chest. So my thing is <coughs> for one it should be common practice to check that shit like to some capacity on set before it's fired at someone. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they was doing. Ain't no way you doing that and you shoot someone. Well, yeah, I think the people that got shot wasn't a part of the movie. It was a cinematographer and a director. So obviously they had to be like not filming right that time. But unless, <clears throat> unless he, Okay, you think maybe they were filming and he shot it and then the bullet just like went at them? Yeah, I think it, you know, because they didn't have to have anyone on set being shot at. Damn. What if, what if, what if like the nigga was, because this is what I think happened. He was doing a scene where he was just shooting crazy. Right. And he was just like shooting all willy nilly and they were just falling. He was like, oh, damn, she fall for real. Like, I oh, couldn't shit, imagine, like, <laughs> on some real shit, I couldn't imagine being out there. Um, I can't imagine what he's going through, dealing with the the, the remorse of of feeling feeling he, that shit. Like, I'm about to catch another body. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm my asshole. Um, and then you know, I couldn't imagine what the family is going through, thinking about you know someone dying on set behind a prop gun. Yeah, you just think it's just it's just a regular day, and the next thing you know, you just dying behind a prop gun. This shit crazy. That shit is insane. So apparently, they about to sue his pants off. Oh, oh, it's time to rain. Like, don't sue Alec Baldwin. Sue the production team. Sue the sue the film. I studio. would sue everyone a part of that. <coughs> shit. Yeah, Alec. Oh yeah, if he do if he do get sued and he be in financial ruin, then yeah, maybe he might he might have to work. We won't we won't we gonna hire you, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, elevate us. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look up the niggas on the map. Yeah, come to R E O P, we'll hire you. You'll be our uh get us some coffee or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> do my liquor I runs. I don't even think drink coffee. No. Make him make him sweep up the uh the the yawn. <laughs> Who hire you, Alec Baldwin? Um, you need a job because you probably is gonna get sued like a motherfucker. Them checks gonna be empty. I mean, them pockets gonna be empty. If somebody sue me at sixty eight, they not getting that money. Oh, you about to be? You about to be? I'm about to be gone soon. No, 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 no. If somebody sue me at sixty eight, we running this shit through court till I'm dead. 
Mm. Or till I've spent so much, you no, know what I'm saying? That I'm gonna settle out of I'm 68. I'm gonna settle out of court. Mm. I ain't gonna pay it and let my kids like let my kids and my kids' kids deal with that shit. I'm my asshole. I'm let them motherfuckers deal with that shit. I ain't paying that shit. 68? Nah, bro, because you already have a lawyer on retainer, for one. Salute to my grandma. My grandma's 80 years old. She was, I was over her house one time, mm-hmm. and um, I think she forgot to pay her Comcast bill or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Comcast, you one day past due, they blowing your phone up. Yeah. So, of course, they called her. They was like, they was, they was, they was talking to her crazy. They was like, oh, you don't, ma'am, you don't pay your bill. We gonna put you gonna send your account to collections. She was like, I don't care. <laughs> she was like, I don't care. When she did, when she said it, she was like seventy eight. She was like, I don't care. I'm seventy eight. I don't need good credit no more. Yeah, I was like that makes sense. Shit. I was like, yeah, you really don't need good credit at that point. I was like, Ryan, you run everything. Up. Like, fuck it. Like, yo, let's 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 do what we gotta do. Bet two cars. I'm financing two cars. What house? Paying, paying for neither one of them. Everything. Yeah. What you need? <laughs> yeah, you don't need after that point. It's like credit don't even matter at that point. Yeah, nah. It's get this money. Let's do. Let's do anything I can think of as long as it lasts. Yeah, 